I am racked with pain. Or is it guilt? At all those I have banished from these shores, from this continent, all those I have wrenched from their wives and children, who have tipped out of their lovers' beds. God alone will judge my other sins. I know all too well my star is waning. My body is weak. Not even the finest sancocho can whet my appetite. <laughs> Small wonder then that some are already packing their cases, polishing their medals, and planning their return. Secretly negotiated. The king is dead. Long can I just state here and now. I was the one who turned down absolute power. I said no to Galvillismo. I learnt that lesson from observing another officer turned emperor. I may have accepted your many generous gifts, but I never sought that title. I did not ride twice around the world turning my hindquarters to leather to wear a laurel crown. Let me say it once again, so there are no doubts. El honor que se me hace es tan superior a mi mérito que no puedo contemplarlo. Sin confusión. I tell you frankly, this plan is not good for me, for you, or for the country. And yes, it is still one great country, whatever you might believe. I'm sure some of you will be crowing at my defeat. Yes. Whatever you think, it was a defeat engineered by me. Like the most wise and stoical of mules, there is a point when it is better to lie down in the road and be flogged to death than endure the rigours of the forthcoming journey. And for those of you who need me to spell it out, I was always the beast of birth. At Apsley House, and on the plantations, and up there, with the excoriating winds and the rock falls and the raging torrents and the pox and all the things that came upon us. While you cowered on your estates or drank at White's in London with the taste of the chocolate girl still on your mouth. Of course I'm angry. I'm seething inside. And why shouldn't I? I thought that I'd understood it all, that I'd considered everything. I believed that the people were with me, and this was our moment. I battled with my brothers against our Spanish keepers, believing that the future lay in our own hands, that we would be free. But now I doubt the very start, where it all began. and ultimately, who I am. Aquí un servidor, Simón Bolívar, of noble stock and outlook. My features are Basque in origin. Born of American aristocracy. My father's fortune was one of the greatest they'd ever seen. I received all the trappings that luxury can afford, all the influence. Yes, my path was seemingly well mapped out. But as is always the case, our lives are defined, or should I say cruelly distorted, by the unexpected. By the age of three, my first loss. Juan Vicente Oliver can put this case. By the age of nine, I was orphaned and left to the tender care of my uncle, Carlos Palacios. And so, by the age of 15, sent off to Europe to continue my education. I went on my own grand tour. I returned with a full knowledge of the classics, fluent in French, a witness to the coronation of Napoleon Bonaparte, with my head literally crammed with the ideas of the Enlightenment, the beast that came to bite me. The words of Francisco de Miranda. 
that he spoke so gently, ringing in my ears. Complete rupture from the past, complete annihilation of our colonial masters. It was clear that they would never give us our freedom. That much was true, however richly we deserved it. And when Bebe Wadeas appeared, it was clear that we were two peoples separated not just by one vast, angry sea. Why continue to feed the cuckoo? Why waste our blood and our sweat serving a French master? And so I called for war. My hope was that it would be swift and unequivocal. Free to establish a United Republic, we would be the envy of the modern world. Yet my vision was foolishly elitist. How could I desire real freedom for my brothers while seeking to maintain the old hierarchies? The Constitution said it there, confirmed the suppression of the slave trade, but preserved slavery. A national guard for the apprehension of fugitive slaves, and I quote, enforced law and order preventing them from evading such labour through caprice, idleness, vices or other reasons prejudicial to the tranquillity and prosperity of the country. Little wonder this provoked insurrección de otra especie. Not my words, I hasten to add. Each cruelly, mercilessly repressed. Reared in a system of slavery, we Americans do not understand living in freedom according to liberal principles. In effect, we were continuing the Spaniards' dirty work, except now our trading partners were uh, in Apsley House or Dolphin Cove, Jamaica. In me, they've created one like their own. Oh, I'll never be Spanish. I look the part. I speak the part when required. Watch my effortless dance. <laughs> the quintessential Latin lover. Don't judge my first pathetic efforts in the whole house in London. She mistook me for a Greek. <laughs> a pederast. I owe all that I am to the people I detest. My mind, my language, my thoughts, this tongue, this mother tongue that I detest. The things I wanted most in life, the things I wanted to cherish, a wife and children, were never mine. Miren ustedes lo que son las cosas. Si no hubieran ayudado, quizá mi vida hubiera sido otra. No sería el general Bolívar, ni el libertador. Amanula Sainz, mi amable loca, mi libertadora. That woman was my liberator. Her searing honesty set me free. I think it's safe to say she came closest to restoring what was lost in my youth. She raised to the ground her husband's British reputation. I carry it with me. If you don't believe me, listen to her words. To her husband, Quito, 